Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. At least try for me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. You're nearly there, Peter. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I'm not worried. You're super, Mom. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hmm. I guess that makes you Super Peter. Mom, Star-Lord. That's my superhero name. Sorry, Star-Lord. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> What's the matter? Too scared to talk? Huh? Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey! How's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. So it's all true, then. <laughs> ah, sucks to be Peter Quill. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? 
She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. I'm gonna go to your funeral just to see your son cry. Get out! My dad's gonna- Out! You didn't bite that shark. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. You slapped him. That was awesome. No, that was not awesome, Peter. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. <sighs> what the? How did I get home? Gamora? Gamora! Try. Going harder. Hey. <laughs> Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. Actually, a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? I can't... Gamora, you're hurting me! <sighs> Great. 
Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I'll interpret your silence as assent. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. Whether I believe she's capable or not. Whatever happens, you only have yourself to blame. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You train me for this. I won't let you or Father down. Let's just do this.